The NPR team met in Milton Keynes in April for our first workshop, where we explored how to use participatory design processes with dogs. We were really not quite sure what was going to happen, but were very excited by the idea of pushing participatory research in new directions. We started by meeting Helen McCain and Duncan Edwards from Dogs for the Disabled, who would be running two sessions for us. We also got to know a bit more about the work of the Animal Computer Interaction Lab at the Open University. A film crew from the OU joined us to make a video about the lab's work. All our workshops include as much practical experience as possible, so after getting an overview of the kind of work service dogs do with Dogs for the Disabled, we tried out our first exercise. The aim was to explore one of the methods of interspecies communication used in dog training. We each acted as a trainer or a dog and then worked together to complete a task, but we could only communicate with the use of a clicker. Sometimes this was difficult, but mostly it was a lot of fun, and we felt a real sense of accomplishment when we completed the task. <laughs> and then you do realise how complex space is needed. Yeah. I thought, well, maybe I could pick up towel, maybe yeah. I could stand on that. Yeah. So, could have everything is, you know, the, the actual material richness of this room is very yes. high, isn't yes. it? And it, and it so is in any space like yes. that. So then you're at the same. In the afternoon, Helen and Duncan told us about some of the challenges dogs face in their working environments. Service dogs interact with a range of non-standard objects, buttons for example. So in this session we worked with Winnie and Cosmo, asking them to push round discs that we had placed in different locations around the room. Winnie often works as a demonstration dog and so was very forgiving of our attempts to point, click and give a treat in the right order. Oh good, good girl. Girl. We also learnt that the fundamental unit for the design process was not the dogs themselves, but a dog and a human working in partnership. A lot of the human members of these partnerships are wheelchair users, and so we also tried out a wheelchair that Helen and Duncan had brought with them. We looked at the doors into the seminar room in a very different light after trying to get through them in the wheelchair. After saying goodbye to Helen, Duncan, Winnie and Cosmo, we spent some time reflecting on what we'd noticed during the day. Helen and Duncan had told us that two of the key issues for service dogs that might need a design solution were using buttons and doors. So on the second day we split into two groups to develop designs for doors and buttons that assumed that a dog was the main user rather than able-bodied humans. We spent some time discussing the designs we came up with and how we could use participatory methods to work with the dogs to evaluate them. If we can think of the stuff we have seen yesterday, see if we can apply what we have acquired to this design process. And also bearing in mind, these are aspects of participatory research. So you can represent, you can draw up phases of your interaction. Perhaps try and think how things might work and see what we come up with. We finished by going back to the principles of participatory design to see how they might apply to our experiences in the workshop but also how they might be transformed by including non-humans in the process. Like why are we presuming a button is round and you know, place the red button in the world it floats? So why is there this design prototype already in the world that makes a button quite a target? And so there's already a human element of rewarding the target. But the target's very specific and that could be a challenge for the dog. Also, there was a discussion of different types of dogs, different sizes of dogs. So at what height you going to have the button? It could be nose, it could be paw. We talked about what sort of texture the strip should be and what texture around the strip should be, so there may be some distinction um, between it. It's yeah. got to be cleanable. The workshop, for me, it emphasised, highlighted the fact that actually this is the only issue of participation independent of the species. Mm -hmm. It is an open question.